I want to talk about the movie called Ex Machina. Pretty much, I wanted to talk about artificial intelligence because this is a tech channel after all. And I want to talk about this stuff because I thought this movie was very interesting. I don't know if you guys saw this movie, but the whole entire movie was all revolving around artificial intelligence and about the, um, I forget what the test is called, but pretty much the human test for, art, for, for computers. The movie overall, by the way, the movie was great. It was a beautiful movie. I thought it was really well done and it just got you thinking. It really did because what what's crazy is artificial intelligence, it's already around, guys. You guys don't realize it, but these companies are already working on stuff like this. If you guys don't believe it, you guys will be foolish because companies like Google and Apple. So, I mean, what's great is the main um, antagonist, or he wasn't really the antagonist, but the guy who was the Google S CEO was developing this. He's talked about this. And the thing is, if you guys read your, if you actually read the end user agreements for your phones and your apps, they're doing this legally. You are, you have already agreed for them to collect every piece of data on you. They will, that you are agreeing that you have, you're allowing them to access your camera anytime, anytime and collect all your information. So theoretically, they could have already done this and we don't even know it. But let's let's look past that because the one greatest thing that I wanted to talk about was because this is going to bring up, I, I think many many of you may get angry with this topic and um, I don't want to offend you, but just it's, it's a topic that's going to be talked about in the future whether you like it or not. And once artificial comes, artificial intelligence comes to the public, the topic of what's life what is not the meaning of life, but how do we define life and what is living, what is intelligent is going to come up. And they brought that up beautifully in this movie because the entire time, I won't spoil anything, but the entire time you're watching this movie, you're going both ways. It was an emotional roller coaster for me and my fiance when we were watching this because we're just like, oh my gosh, this guy's very evil and this, this, this AI is actually really smart and you as a movie watcher start to become start to become uh, very emotionally tied to the AI because the AI knows it, it's well it's actually perceiving like pity sadness sorrow joy and everything and you're you're actually seeing it the actress by the way she did a great job in this movie portraying um, this this AI character um, but we I totally forgot that it was you know, I got emotionally invested in the movie and it just got me thinking. It's just like when AI officially comes out, like how are we going to are we going to treat it? Like is this this is very this is very psychological and just physiolog philosophy stuff. Are you going to treat it like another person or are you still going to look at it as a robot? And that is just scary stuff because what's crazy is um in Japan, I, and I went there and I saw some of these androids that they made. You know, they added like fake skin and fa and faces and hair to these robots. And to be honest, if you get close and you really pay attention to them, they they look fake. But when you're coming from afar and you hear them talking and waving at you, you treat them like human beings. Like during the movie, they purposely kept the android exposed of a mechanical side to show that she was an android. But at the same time, she portrayed so much intelligence and human emotions that you forget that she's an android. She's not a and, and, and a, a person. I say she's not a real person. And so, like, it just be, it's such a huge mind. It's oh my gosh! It's just it just got me crazy. It's just it's just crazy to think because people in Japan already is. A lot of people associate the associate these robots as real people. Sometimes they interact with them like they would a real person. It, it's just it's it's crazy where to take where it's going to go. It's scary too, because you know there's people in both ends of the social spectrum that they're going to end up they're just going to end up relying on AI for all their social and emotional needs. And there's going to be a huge different argument about that. But man. I mean, it's just scary to think that because, I mean, if you think about it, and uh, what's it called? A lot of people talked about, um, uh, someone just brought up Chappie in the Matrix feed here, and it's already happening, folks. I mean, they are already, 
I mean, when you heard about, I don't know if you guys heard about it, but Google was already working on quantum processors. You know, I don't really have a working knowledge of them, but from my understanding of what I've been reading, you know, that that along with all the data that they have and everything, they need, they need something that powerful to process all this information. Because essentially, they're, they are putting in place the pieces necessary to create an artificial brain. I mean, I know this is some crazy stuff. I really do because they, um, it's a lot of people choose to ignore what's actually going on with these tech companies. I mean, I, as a consumer, always talk about the consumer products and what's eventually gonna come out in phones and watches and, and, and virtual reality and stuff. But a lot of people are completely ignoring the fact of what these tech companies are capable of doing these days with the resources that they have and the amount of information that all of us as a collective are giving to them. It is scary what they are gonna be capable of doing in the future. You know, me, I, I, can, I have no influence on all of you. I have no influence in the world or anything whatsoever. But you, we really have to start paying attention because if we keep letting these companies go unchecked, who knows what's gonna happen? Someone brought up Skynet. I mean, there's that. I mean, are there true monsters in this world that are gonna let something like that happen? I really hope not. Um, but it's just crazy to think how fast the technology has evolved in the last 20 years or so. We were barely, what's it called? Uh, 20 years ago, we were barely just breaking the internet, barely getting on, and AI was just like a, a, a figment of imagination, but now we have computers that are smarter than people. I mean, not every person, but the, you know, I hate to say it, but some of the, some of the average Americans here, you know, they don't know even basic history and stuff, and computers are smaller, smarter than them these days. What's, what you're going to see, the progression is, it's going to be, it's going to first be assistant technology, which we have now. Every t piece of tech that's coming out really has, it's just enhancing our lifestyles, giving us more information so we can process it. But later on, it's going to become like the world of iRobot, where the robots have become assistants to the human beings. So you're gonna have, you're gonna have assistant robots either with assisted living, um, helping things out in the house, um, construction and whatnot. And whether whether or not people want to start talking about, oh well, it's gonna be the end of manufacturing because robots will take over. That the fact that it's happening now, it's inevitable. People are always going to pursue an easier, more efficient way of producing, manufacturing, and going on about life. It's always going to happen. It's up to you whether you want to be behind it or in front of it. Adopt it or don't. You know, for me personally, yes, I understand what's going on. So for me, I don't, the thing is, I'm not doing anything illegally crazy. So I don't mind them. I really don't like, I, I pretty much, I have to use these phones. I have to use social media and everything. So they're going to get my information one way or another, but it's just crazy. Sorry. I just, I just, I just had to get this up. Like, it's going to be crazy guys. Like, you know, the movies like the matrix, um, I robot and all these other movies coming out. You know these future these future future utopias where robots are starting to fight for equal rights and everything, and whether you we should classify them as humans or not humans, it is just crazy. Um, I don't know if emotional emotion is a criteria for real life. Plenty of heartless people around, yes, but a computer. Put it this way, a computer can learn to have emotions like we do. I mean. I'll put it this way, guys. I can't go on and talk about this forever. So if, if you haven't watched the movie, I really challenge you all to watch it. Whether you end up liking the storyline or not is not the point. Really listen to the, the, the conversations between the, the human tester, the android, and the creator of the android. Really listen to the conversations because they are actually, they're not some made up talk. It, th these are actual real conversations that are gonna happen in the future. So I really challenge you all to really watch it and just think about that. You know, just think about, just really put that into perspective because it'll really make you think. Because whether you guys like it or not, it's going to come to be. These programs are getting smarter and smarter every day. And these giant tech companies aren't just sitting around just doing search data anymore and making phones. No, they're doing some crazy crap, guys. You can be damn well sure of it. Um, so we'll, be, we'll there's that. Um, RDBA gaming, computers will never be smarter than a human because we need to teach them or program them to do what it needs to do. That is true in the beginning. That is very true. 
But I'll put it this way. You got to think of it this way too. If computers get to the point in which they are, they are exponentially getting better and better at processing and performance to the point where eventually, especially if we get to, uh, what's it called? If we get to uh, quantum, like quantum processors and beyond, they are going to process data much faster than our brains can. And so, yes, one, put it this way. Once we teach a computer how to think, how to operate, what to learn, how to learn, how to absorb data. Once they, once we, pretty much put it this way, we are setting up creatures that are going to be smarter than we are. And put it this way, guys, this is like years away when all of us are going to be old and probably dying by then. We won't be around for this, fingers crossed. Um, but it's going to happen one way or another. So, I mean, it's, it's scary to think about, but... We'll just see, guys. It's it's really crazy. AI can get out of control. Yeah, they can. It's crazy. There's a there's a there's a phrase in the movie that they said about once we once we officially created, um, once we officially create artificial intelligence, we it's uh it was something about being God because we just created life, and that just like you're just like oh you just you, you really gotta think about this stuff, guys. Um, man, this is crazy. So all these personal assistant devices, like you know, Leonard Holly just brought up the Jibo, um, uh, Amazon's Echo, and everything. Like it's just that's just the tipping point, guys. We are already integrating AI personal assistants into our life already. They are coming out. Do you people realize what is going on? Do you guys realize what's happening? Cortana being on Windows 10. You are talking to an you are talking to a virtual assistant. You are talking to these devices like you would another human being. You are already you are already interacting with these devices like another person. Whoa! It's crazy. It's so crazy. Oh my gosh! And the thing is, up for everyone, they're just like whoop over their head. Oh, it's a stupid little gimmick. It's not really gonna take off. These, de- these companies are learning more and more about you every single day. Do you not think that they're going to be doing anything with it? Oh, so yeah. Yeah, Leonard Holly. Siri, all those Apple fanboys and girls out there, the, mil- the, the 100 million plus strong, you guys are feeding Apple everything they need to take over your lives. Oh, my God. <laughs> because I cannot imagine the sheer amount of data that they hold, that they really do. Oh my gosh! I did a report on this uh, for my data analysis course um, back during my uh, my MBA program, and the amount uh, you'd be surprised on what you can learn based off of what people ask, what people talk to Siri about, and what they search about. You can learn you can from those inquiries. You can actually learn about a person's personality. It's scary. It really is. And they're learning more about us every day. So, so don't be surprised that you see these AI, these artificial, these, these virtual assistants getting smarter and smarter every day. You know, the, from the years to come, it's just going to get, it's going to be a very freaky world, guys. So just be ready. Just, <laughs> just get ready. <laughs> it's about to come. <laughs> it, yeah, and this conversation can go so deep into about what life really is and everything and i know all the religious people are going to come out and they they are and that's not the point guys it's if if you learned anything about science if you you got if okay uh, what uh, i i met a really hardcore christian scientist when i was in college and a lot of people gave him crap about it but when i really talked to him i just listened to what he had to say he was pretty much i'm a christian scientist i still believe in god and when he is asked, then why are you pursuing science? Why are you why are you researching and why are you trying to prove things that you shouldn't have to be proved? Just have faith. And for him, it's just like it's the pursuit of God. I think it, it was weird. Like it was still I really couldn't comprehend what he was saying, but in his mind, like man is the spinning image of God and they've always pursued to be more like him. So if anything, they're pushing towards to be gods themselves. And it's just like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> but guys, like, you know, all these people, 
that are just choosing to just go on their lives with ignoring everything that's happening. So there's consumers. That's fine. But a lot of us have to start being more smart about what's going on in the world right now. You need to open your eyes. Don't, I mean, don't not buy the tech. Don't, don't not buy this new stuff because if it enhances our life, it enhances our lifestyle. But don't go mindlessly going out there and just ignoring everything that's happening. You really can't because whether you like it or not, these companies are getting more and more powerful every day. They really are. They're controlling people's lives. You guys look at Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and all these social media sites as just like stupid little side things to kill time. But folks, I mean, pretty much think of it this way. Think of it this way, guys. TV media. Look at what happened to the news from the early days when first television first came out and now. Before the age of the internet, governments and companies could literally persuade people the the entire demographic they can they can literally persuade the opinions of everyone through one news article through one newscast one video one commercial they could they had you by the in the palm of their hands they did and these new medias when people are like oh we're cutting the cord we're getting away from all this corporate corporate um supplied news agencies no these companies are now onto the social media stuff youtube and now they're now they're affecting the way you think via those channels a lot of the issues that are all of a sudden happening day after day after day it's because information is traveling faster and it could, it could literally take one stupid article shared by someone to literally take one little thing out of proportion. But there, and, and the thing is, all this crap that's going on in the world is literally masking everything that's going underneath. Yes, you have to stay connected, but at the same time, be smart about what's really going on. You got to think about what these governments and what these tech companies are doing. And they are literally, they have the world on the palm of their hands. So, I mean, not to sound morbid, it's true. So when people start focusing on these stupid things and and they're not progressing with their lives, it's sad to see for me. It really is. I know. Sorry that I went off to this topic, but just it's just something that's been bothering me for a very long time. And after seeing this movie, it just, uh, it's, it's just scary to think because these companies are going to start to create quote unquote perfect beings that are more intelligent that are more productive than the average person is so it, it's a morbid world to think about and for me i personally rather not see it go down that route when i see when i see the general public going out of control sometimes especially in my country right now in the united states we it's been it's been a crazy last year the last few years have been really crazy with all the the news articles coming out and all the and everything that's been happening it, it's really it's most of it i mean there are real concerns that need to be taken care of but it's literally distracting so many people from the real issues and it's sad to see i'm not gonna bring in my political opinions um to this podcast but for me it's just i want you all to really just open your eyes and think about what's really going on out there so it goes beyond just per, you know comparing apples to apples with tech it really does. You really need to think about not just this. Look outside that. It's not A and B, guys. It's not. There's so many things going on around there. So I really hope that you guys, you know, oh, my gosh. Actually, yeah, you guys are joking about uh, it's all about the food. Chip. You know, I may have, you know, I might get, you know, if I disappear, guys, you guys know why. Because I'm talking, I'm talking for the people. You know, don't be mindless zombies out there, guys. Don't go be waiting out in line to buy the next phone and be a hardcore consumer. Really think about the products you're purchasing and everything like that, you know? So, yeah, think. <laughs> um, all these companies don't want you to think. They just want you to work mindlessly and take, you know, and they just want to take your money and misuse you. Don't let that happen. Think about it. So, yeah.